back. Still tuned into Halftime Report on CNBC TV 18. Let's talk about uh, some pharma uh, companies now. Dr. Trihanam Midanta, that is the hospital company, says Cleveland Clinic in his is his inspiration. Healthcare is a business with a soul and medicine first attitude will give good returns. Talking to Ekta Batra at his flagship hospital Medanta Medicity in Gurugram, he points out that India is a growing hub for medical tourism and with the country providing quality and cost effective services, uh, it will be higher as well. Here is a slice of that conversation. We have before COVID up to about 12% of our patients were international. Yeah. Then COVID, of course, with the restriction of travel and COVID itself, lockdowns and all that, that went down to about 3-4%. Yeah. Now it's on its way back up. So we, have, we are one of the favoured destinations because of the fact that we are a seamless institution. Yeah. From the moment they connect with us, we receive them at the airport, we bring them here, we treat them, we will then see them off at the airport. Mm. So we are, we are, from that point of view, patients also find it very secure. Mm. See, one of the things, if you're coming to another country in an unknown city where, you know, there are so many vagaries mm. uh, at play, that it gives them huge comfort that you can give them this kind of service. So it had fallen to around 4% of sales during COVID yeah. and uh, medical value tourism has probably risen to around 6%, 6 to 7% right, now. Right, but maybe uh, it's a little more even now from the time as we are talking because it's the recovery is much faster. And the biggest b bottleneck has been the visas. So the embassies are really, really now geared up mm -hmm. to because it was all disrupted. So now the pending visas are being issued. Mm -hmm. We have, as we speak today, over 140 visas waiting in Iraq to come okay. so, and uh, one the other thing is that you know the Prime Minister has announced these two schemes no heal in India heal from by India and that also has triggered that all the services that participate and you can take you start from patients recognizing or talking to the doctor or recognizing which institution to go to from that point to send them letters for the visa letters from the visa to the airport all those things are now being stitched together so i think that india has a huge future for actually serving our countries immediate countries and extended countries but what is the usp that india has vis-a-vis -vis the other countries that are equally focused on medical value tourism so there are three major things you can speak of mm. one is that we have so the highest level of care available here across all specialties so, so that you can you cannot if you close your eyes and I took you to Cleveland Clinic today mm -hmm. and you opened your eyes there you would not the, the, know the difference mm -hmm. where you are mm -hmm. so that is one part of it second is the fact that the cost is much less mm -hmm. so they're not paying for uh, for cheap med cheap services at cheap price they are paying for a, a lesser price for very high-end services, right. which are comparable. And the third, the third important thing is that language is another situation, that in, we are more universal in English than other countries because they, are, they have that impediment. So I think that they feel very comfortable. India has a good image, improving, I would say. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, things like what is happening in Delhi with the pollution and all that doesn't help. Mm -hmm. So as we move forward and try to solve these problems, I think in, undoubtedly India will be the premier destination of all other competing nations. When do you expect it to probably rise back to its peak of 12%, maybe surpass it as well? I think that past Christmas hmm. you will see the whole surge. Okay, so you'll probably see it back to 12%. We're already 7-8% already, so you're hmm. seeing it like, as we speak every week it will go up a percent. And sustain at probably 15% or higher? Could be higher even. That's what we are aiming for, and why not? Because it's a, it, it is. You see, that also demonstrates the soft power of India. Mm. That, as you know, I was in the U.S. for 20 years. Mm. So, 17 percent of all super specialists were Indians mm. in America, mm. right? Out of 350 million people, mm. today it must be much more. If you look at NHS, 30% of the doctors who do the service are Indians. Mm. If you look at the nurses, they're all over the place. Mm. So the branding of India as a superior human capital mm. is already established. 
Okay, that was a piece from a very special series we have planned for you, Medicine Box, a deep dive into the world of pharma and healthcare. Cat snippets of this conversation all day today, only on CNBC TV 18. Time for a break. On the other side, Manisha Gupta joins us with uh, Atul Chaturvedi, who is the Executive Chairman at Sri Renuka Sugars. Stay tuned.